again, nine double A. Jason was uh, the this W's is, in yeah. this one. Uh, Wolsey Westington taking on Woonsocket, Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. And the Blackhawks in the black here beat Wolsey Westington during the season. Landon Oshner was banged up a little bit. Yeah, he had to wrap that ankle up. He played through it uh, last week in the semifinals. Had trouble cutting, but man, he grinded this one up. Tucker Kingsbury to Dylan Moore here for the first touchdown of the game. And the Blackhawks are up eight to nothing. Started out well. They shut Wolsey Westington down on their first drive. Came back and scored. And everything was going to be fine for them. But then Wolsey Westington found their playmaker, Hunter Johnson, who was near, almost 3,000 yards in the season after this one was all said and done. He had about a tenth of that in this game. Couldn't bring him down. Uh, they finally brought him down there, but he goes in from five yards here to make it 8-6. For such a small guy, he never goes down on the first hit. He always slides out of that first tackle. He had to go as an 80s rock star for Halloween this <laughs> year. Jarrett Weber to Darren Ogan Gemalusi. 25-yard touchdown there. Great throw. 14-8. Wolsey Westington in the lead at half. Yeah, Ogan Gemalusi blew it up with a couple plays. And uh, as you can see, he can do it on the ground as well. He is fast. He gets loose again, 30 yards. Here in the third quarter, Warbirds up 20 to eight. And this is the next play though for uh, Woonsocket, Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. Oshner goes 56 yards. I just got done saying, I don't think the Blackhawks have the playmaking abilities with Oshner's ankle. And what does he do? He finds a straight lane and he finds the end zone. All right, that made it 20 to 14. And then a one play drive here for Wolsey Westington as Johnson goes 70 yards. Yeah, that was, I think there was a span there with five possessions for Wolsey Westington where they scored four times. They had got the offense clicking. Go back up 28 to 14 after the run by Johnson. And then late in the third quarter here, Blackhawks again. Kingsbury to John Witte. Trust me, he got it. He got it for a touchdown. It's 28-22 Wolsey Westington after three quarters. And then in the fourth, Hawks doing it again here. The Hawks have it again, and they get stopped here on fourth down, Danny. Ogan Gemalusi makes the stop for Wolsey Westington. Huge play. Their defense made the big stop. They had to come back down, and so many times this game they went for it on fourth down and got it. This time, would they get it? They got it. They keep the drive alive. Very next play. Hunter, your playmaker. Hunter Johnson, his third touchdown of the game, goes 45 yards here. And yes, it was a six point game until that touchdown. And Johnson with a monstrous game of 303 yards rushing and three touchdowns in Wolsey Westington. Uh, they lost in the 9A championship game last year to Howard, and uh, they get it done here, 36-22. Yeah, and the Blackhawks lost last year in their championship yep. game to Gregory, and they had to suffer another tough one, but you know, they brought the effort. These two teams have been playing each other since they were middle schoolers or even elementary age. They know each other very well, and uh, seems like about half the time Wolsey Westington wins, and the other half the time, Woonsack at Westington Springs, Sanborn Central wins. This one was all Warbirds. All right, here is uh, Gordon Hooks and his guys after their win. We knew what they were going to do. We knew their line is tough. It's about execution at this point. I mean, every day they film on us, we've got everyone on them. In a game like this, it's about heart, pride, execution, and, give, and laying it on the line. And I thought our linemen, our backs, our team laid it on, on the line today, and we just had enough to get through these guys. Well, the first time we played them, we just came out slow and we didn't play our game. And now we knew what we had to do, and we did it, and we got it done. The line, they told me they were going to block. They said, just hit the hole hard and just, we'll get, we'll get the yards we need. We'll get the yards we need. And I knew if I just did it, and I, it opened up. It just opened up. They missed a tackle on me, and it opened up, and I knew I was gone once I got to the open field. It's, it's all about heart. We had a big hearts. That's all about Warburg program. We have really big hearts, we go hard, and it's, we knew all the fans in the stadium wanted this and we wanted it even more. And we d dedicate this all to our coach because he's a great man. So I, to bring a, a title back to this community and to these fans is unbelievable. Uh, I know everybody feels their fans are the best, but I can tell you one thing, these Woolsey West the community and fans are the best I've ever had. There you go, Dylan Hines was great. Uh, he's back again next year, Ogan Jimalusi's back. and. Uh, First championship for Woolsey Westington. They've really built a good program. When Gordon Hooks took over, what, about a decade ago, I mean, it's a team that hadn't won hardly anything, and now they look like they're on the path to being a perennial favorite. Uh, the, one thing they did better than the last time they played the Blackhawks, they had turnover problems the first time when they lost 20-6. to They took care of the ball. 
on Thursday. All right, uh, Woonsocket Westington Spring Sanborn Central finishes 11 and 1. This is their only loss of the season, and a Woolsey Westington, the nine AA champions in South Dakota.